here's what we know. We have just brought down two of the climbers that were stranded at Hog's Back. Both of them are uh, upset. Um, they appear to be physically and mentally exhausted, which I think is a normal reaction to an event uh, like today. They were part of the original climbing crew um, that included the gentleman who fell. They were also with a female. Um, the female is currently being brought down uh, by rescuers. Uh, she is unable to walk. She is unable, as my understanding, she is unable to physically move. So they have put her on a sled. They are roping her down, which is a time-consuming maneuver. They can only go about 600 feet at a shot. Reason being, the rope is only 600 feet. Then they have to stop, re-rope, regroup, and get her down. They're gonna bring her down to just above Palmer, where the snow cap will meet her, and then bring her down here, so we're probably about an hour away. She is in no condition to speak with investigators, probably much less uh, the media. Um, I spoke with the two gentlemen. Again, they are upset, they're drained. Um, they wish to be uh, left alone at this time. Um, they are speaking with our deputies, trying to get everything under control. Other than the female rescuers, know of no other climber up on the mountain at this time that needs any type of assistance from us. Um, whether or not there are climbers up there, uh, we don't know. We've looked through the registry. We're trying to line everything up. Um, but we have received no calls of distress from anybody else up on the mountain. So again, we have two down here that were with the original group. I know we originally said there were four stranded at Hogsback. That um, has been changed to the three. The fourth comes from the, the gentleman who, who fell. Yeah, how many rescuers are still on the mountain working with that woman? The number I thought I heard were 16 were bringing her down. Don't, I'm not positive on that number. That's the kind of number when I was speaking with the PJs, I thought they said there were about 16 of their guy, 16 to rescue were still up there trying to get her down. Again, it's complicated, it's time consuming, 600 feet at a time when you're talking elevation, 10,000 feet, it's gonna take a while. You guys still worried about weather? Absolutely. Right I mean, we're, we've been fighting the clock all day. Um, Fortunately, I think we're, we're getting close to getting her off out of here before the weather really hits us. Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously extremely tragic. I mean, anytime somebody loses a life is, is, is devastating. We are thankful, however, um, that we are able to get these other folks down, down safely. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's one of those things that, I mean, it, it's always tough, especially when you have multiple people. I mean, we had falling rock, we had falling ice, we have weather moving in. The conditions up there are bad for hikers, climbers, and, and quite frankly, for the rescuers as well. So as far as the complexity, this was a complex one. I mean, we're going on our what right now, and, and they're still, still working at it.